This is Michael Chandler, one of the most dangerous UFC fighters in the world. I am Michael Chandler! For the next 24 hours, he'll be taking me through his daily routine to prepare to fight Conor McGregor. Who the f*** is that guy? Michael? Michael! Dude, where the hell is he? He's in the backyard. What is he doing? No. Michael Chandler! Are we, are we pretending to be gorillas? Pretending? No, we ain't pretending nothing. What is this? Oh! Oh! Oh no! Oh, it's up! You. Yeah? You've been a blue chip recruit your entire life. Yeah. But today... Okay. Hey, uh, walk on. I'm gonna walk on now. Let's go. Let's go. Get me, Michael! Get it! All right. All right, here we are. We're at the stairs of death that lead to my outdoor suffering sanctuary. I love it. So first thing in the morning, get the legs pumping, get the heart pumping. Let's get ready for a freaking day, baby. Let's go. Let's go, Let's go, baby. Let's go baby. Mike Chandler. Let's go. Mike Chandler. Let's go, Let's go baby. My legs are burning right now, I'm not gonna lie. Here we go. We're not done? No, that's the stairs. Oh my gosh. I'm not a pro fighter like you. You can walk up. We didn't really get a warm up in, so that was extremely tough. Right away, shock to the system, so we can walk this little area right here. Remember, a trail run doesn't have to be a thousand miles an hour. Nice conversational jog, because you got a lot of ups and downs and very unpredictable terrain. Just like a fight. Let's play. You're too slow! I'm the champion! 25 miles in. <laughs> if you had one thing to tell, Conor McGregor right now. <laughs> what are you telling him? I'm coming for you, boy. He knows this is the toughest fight he could have come back to take. So I respect him a ton for taking this fight, but I gotta go steal the show. I gotta go spoil Let's go. the greatest comeback. Let's go. History, he says. Question for you, how much longer of your fighting career do you have left, do you think? How many years is left in the tank right now? Yeah, I got a couple years left for sure. I think as soon as I feel like I'm not recovering really well, as soon as I feel like my my athleticism, speed, power, quickness goes away, then I'll say, okay, I need to reassess. But right now, at 37 years old, I think I've been training at such a high level for so long, and I just kept those skills, kept yeah. those attributes, so I got another three years left. Three years. Three years. Let's go, baby. See, this is the biggest fight of my life coming up against Connor, and then after that, then it just it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. How do you even slow down after that? The stairs of life. Let's go. I'm not gonna lie. He says it's not a race, but I'm racing. Hey, May the better man win. I feel life, I feel rejuvenated, Michael. I'm gonna beat him! No, 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 no! Michael, wait! No! Ah! Uh. Oh my god! Damn it! No! No! After our trail run, it was time for Michael to take me through his daily strength and conditioning training. All right, so this is our indoor training facility where we're gonna start our dynamic warm up, and then we get into the hard strength and conditioning. Okay, let's go, baby. Let's, get after let's have a day. Even though I have an athletic background, I have the worst flexibility. Uh oh, hang in there. Yep. Mm hmm. Gotcha. Left hip's a little tight, right? Yeah, yeah. my left hip's. See, he's found out a lot about himself in this dynamic warm up. Like I said, every athlete should do it. <clears throat> Sit. You should feel it on the way out. I'm not gonna lie, this is brutal. Oh shit! Oh my god! As some may know, this is not like my typical training routine, so at first, I'm not gonna lie, I was kinda struggling to keep up with Michael's stamina and endurance. But as we continued through the workout, I was able to prove myself to Michael. Let's go, baby! We got some Gorilla Mind energy, baby! Oh god! Go, Jesse! <laughs> you wanna feel alive? You wanna feel awake? You have two options. Get Gorilla Mind energy, or train with Michael Chandler. Let's see how athletic I am. One, two, three, three, four. That is the weirdest thing I've ever done. One, good. Two, come on. Three, come on. Four, four. good. Now push that sled fast. Don't be content with the speed of it. Let's go. Push, 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 push. Turn it around. Let's go. Come on. Push, push, push. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Four. But uh, today, I'm putting you through it. What motivates right. you in moments like that when you're really fing pushing? This right here. Wedding ring? My wife and kids. That's it. Everything else is noise. Everything else is noise. Respect. And that walk on mentality. Yep. Oh, goodness. Look at this sweat right here. I'll tell you though, this is so much fun. Get it. Good throws. Three, four, five. Good. Two. Yeah. If you 
you could go back and tell yourself advice from yourself now, what would it be? A, Michael, it's all gonna work out, don't worry. And number two, there is really no secret besides good old fashioned passionate hard work. And eventually it, it pays off, you just have to still be standing there when it does. Mm. So now I'm standing there, arms open to receive it. It's honestly, it's really interesting because I feel like when I'm at the gym, I feel like I'm the expert in the room. But then you come and do something like this and you're humble and you're beyond a beginner once again. No matter how good I look or don't I look, you know, it doesn't matter. The good thing is just letting letting go of the facade or the fake posers out there who said you can do things perfectly every single time. Or if you're doing something perfectly every single time, you're probably not doing anything adaptable whatsoever. Like even me, I've been doing this now for 15, 20 years and there's still days where I, mess up a kettlebell swing, I have to adjust. I mess up a push press, I have to adjust. Oh yeah, and you can't, you won't ever have a perfect fight. If you have so a perfect like day at the gym, perfect. that's a bad situation. After burning all of those calories, it was time to see how Michael refuels after his training. So we decided to get some food. And of course, since we're in Tennessee. Tennessee whiskey. Yeah! So you eat mostly carnivore, what, when you're prepping or is it sometimes? I go carnivore every now and then. Okay. Between, between fights. Oh. Between fights, because I honestly think it helps me stay leaner. The problem with a lot of fighters is we go, we do all this training, and then these guys get, they go, go way too hard on the pizza and breads and just get all fat. Well, How go, important is your diet when leading up to a fight? You've all heard like Michael Phelps ate like 20,000 calories in a day. And yeah, I probably would feel a lot better if I could do that, but I just can't. I have to calorie restrict in order to go from 190 to 155. 1,200 to 1,400 calories in a day and training twice that's, a day. That's it? And sometimes three times a day. We finished our meal and Michael told me he wanted to take me to go get some icy dessert. I don't think he's talking about ice cream. After a nice hard workout, or sometimes I like to do it in the morning, we go to the ice bath. Okay. Right, so we're here in the ice barrel. We actually had it in the 40s of what we just threw some ice into it. So hopefully we get down closer to the 30s. Yay! Ready? Not really. And I heard you dip your, what do you do every minute? I dip my head. Oh, oh yeah! Oh damn, he goes in with the hat. Okay, there we oh. go. I think you forgot a little. You just gotta ice a little chili. There you go, there you go. Oh! oh. You didn't lose too much water. Oh! So you go in this for five minutes every morning. Mm -hmm. Start your day off right. Why do you do this every day? Obviously, it's got a lot of benefits, but for me, it was I was definitely afraid of cold water. Like, okay. And I was really a big baby about it. So I knew if I wanted to be my best version of myself, be the best father, husband, fighter, entrepreneur, businessman, every single area of my life, if I'm afraid to get in cold water when there's a lot of people, hold on. <laughs> every minute has to go under. When there's a lot of people already doing it, who am I to be afraid of it? So that's why I do it, because it was a huge fear of mine. Okay. Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> Oh! My chest! <laughs> you act like you're going to an ice bath. I do it every day! <laughs> my chest! I feel like I just lose my mind in this thing. I'm either super zen or I just go crazy. It's times like this in life that really test you. And you are just feeling every part of your body telling you stop, 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 stop. Quit, quit, quit. But you keep pushing and then the reward after. Especially every man needs a battle to fight, an adventure to have, and a beauty to win. Let's go! Let's go! Oh! Oh! That was the most painful thing I've ever felt in my life. Hold on a second. Hold on. Move. <laughs> After a brutal recovery session, we dried off and then spent the next hour reviewing UFC fights to prepare me for this next challenge. Thank God I'll never have to do this. Oh! oh! Right through the nose! Ladies and gentlemen, we've made it this far. I'm about to become the ultimate fighter. Team Chandler in the house. You ready? Dude, yes. I know you think this is a kind of a joke. When I walk into this kind of sanctuary, uh -huh. this is where it gets real. The lifting was fun, you know, the Got ice it. barrel was fun. Yeah. This is where the rubber beats the road. So, okay. hope y'all are ready. Wish your boy luck. <laughs> I'm gonna need it. <laughs> is it an intimate thing between like coach and, and fighter? Yeah. If you're wrapping their Actually, hand? Actually, kinda it is, to be honest with you. What would you tell me Spread. if it was like a fight day? I'd say, listen dude, there's no way you're gonna win this fight. You have no chance whatsoever. Stop staring at me. I'm just looking at your eyes. <laughs> now it's time for Michael to teach me some basic fighting fundamentals that I would need in order to have a successful fight in the octagon. 
Yep. Oh! oh. And oh. I want to try to have this. Give me your best one! Oh! I think you're ready. Ready? Yes. What are we doing next? To fight. To fight. To spar. Who is my guy? We don't have a guy yet. We'll find him. I got the biggest, baddest dude in here. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go grab him. Okay, we'll get him. Dude, I can't believe I'm gonna have I'm literally gonna have an entire fight. I'm gonna have a match. Yo, I'm scared for him. I'm scared. It's me. What? It's me, bro. Sorry, you just walked back in? The biggest, baddest dude. Yo! yo. <laughs> I couldn't find him. Oh, me. God. You got headgear? No. Me. No. <laughs> the fun and games were over. It was time for me to go against one of the UFC's most dangerous men in the world. At this point, I've forgotten everything that Michael taught me, and I'm literally just trying to stay alive. Yo, your wife right there. Nope. Oh. It was time to think outside of the box. <laughs> oh my god! I punched you UFC right in the face! Now we're just going to do some grappling. One of the most important aspects of mixed martial arts because if you can control a guy on the ground, you're eating up the clock, you're controlling his body, you're making him be put in a position where he has to get up, which is going to tire him out. But the wrestling, grappling aspect of it is probably the most tiring aspect. Standard bench press. <laughs> Standard bench Run. press. Standard bench press. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! All right, overall, first time sparring me, how did I do? 7.3 out of 10. Okay, was that expected? 7.3 out of 100, actually. Oh, come on! No, <laughs> no you did good, dude. I got a few, a few headshots. Shots. Heavy shots, what you, have, what you have good is explosiveness. I'm 37, I'm fighting for 15 years now. It's like, I just need to work on timing and yeah. accuracy and movement and get my feet back under me. I don't need to prove that I'm tough. Yeah. Once you've been in these really, really tough fights, too many guys have left their entire career in the gym because they want to come in and show how big their balls are. They just pick the hardest guy in the room and they just slug them. End up getting knocked out on the, in the training room. So that's been my biggest thing. So for someone like me, let's say I wanted to get into like MMA and be like, I want to be the future UFC star, would that be something that I'd have to be doing more of to understand how to fight this I, fighting? I think you would need to you would need to find a good mixture at a good gym to prove because you need to be in the. Yeah. You, need to, you need to test yourself, you need yeah. to test your metal, you need to be in there and prove to your coaches, the guys that are going to corner you, prove to your training partners, the guys that are going to root you on, and prove to yourself that if the going gets tough, you're not going to give up on yourself, you're not going to shy away, you're not going to squirm away. You have to have that gene inside of you, and that gene can be pulled out of you. I think we all have that gene inside of us, it just needs to be pulled out of us. Various type of way, but you need something to we stretch your emotion. You need to compete. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit the subscribe button. Subscribe to me, subscribe to Michael, and go check out our tough reaction over on his channel, link down below. And ladies and gentlemen, most importantly, stay relentless. Peace.